With over 300 babies born with the sickle cell disease every year, Nigeria has one of the highest burden of the sickle cell disorder in the world. The 19th June every year is set aside to commemorate the World Sickle Cell Day. This year, we explore six facts that you need to know about the sickle cell disease. Although sickle cell can affect people all around the world, the risk is higher in Africa or with people of African descent. Sickle cell disease is not contagious or infectious. People who have the sickle cell disease may develop various complications such as anemia, stroke, tissue, organ and bone damage, as well as pain due to inability of the sickle-shaped red blood cells to carry oxygen normally and to cause blockage of the blood vessels. People with the genotype AS are carriers of the sickle cell traits SCT but do not suffer any symptoms of sickle cell disorder. They can, however, pass it on to their children. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Frank. Welcome there is no cure coming. for the SCD yet, although some successes has been recorded with bone marrow transplants. Currently, the right, Inter Health Africa yeah, sure. is partnering Thank with you, the University like of Thank the you. Medical <laughs> Center, UNMC, and the International Foundation Against Infectious Disease in Nigeria, I have AM, to implement a chemical trial or the amateur a device that can defect the sickle cell gene in babies as young as six weeks old using little or no electricity. The Emu chip is a component of smart sickle and malaria accurate remote testing, a solution that recently won EHA and its partners, Case Western Reserve University, Hemex Health and the University. Reporting live is Taiwo Ogunde, and next up is Entertainment okay. News. So, sir, for keeping you waiting. You look absolutely stunning. I'm still thinking of exactly what I did to deserve someone like you. You flatter me every single second. I'm afraid I may not be able to live without your sweet words. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't flatter you? Can I please have a hug? Sure. Come on, baby. Oh, cool. <laughs> Shall we? I can conquer the world with my hand. Only if you promise to hold my other hand forever. Sandra, will you marry me?
I love to hear. <laughs> Look at that ring. Oh my god. Okay, it's unfair that I had to miss out on that proposal. Frank couldn't even give me a clue. Oh, well, I bet he knew you were gonna tell me. Oh, true, you'd have seen through <laughs> me. Oh, oh girl, god. Frank took me all our ways completely. <laughs> oh my, I'm so okay. happy for you. Thank you. All your hard desires are finally coming true. Girl, <laughs> I have... I'm telling you, I have waited all my life for this day. Oh. I love him so much. I cannot wait to be his wife. Oh, congratulations, my darling. Thank you. Okay. I'll big things and but your red party. Loaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty now. I'm your maid of honor, right? Of course. I can't think of anyone else other than my uh, best friend. Yes. <laughs> congratulations, my darling. Thank you. Oh, thank you. that now. I am so happy for you. Like. I'm on cloud nine right now. Mm -hmm. look, at, look, at, look at this. Okay. Oh, God, please. I'm killing you to this blessing. I'm next in line to get married. Dramatic girl. Dramatic girl. Please, I am next in line. Look at this. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. oh my God. Eh, eh, we have a wedding to plan. Mrs. Frank. <laughs> we have a wedding to plan. <laughs> this is why. Not being fair. No, 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 no. No, he's not being fair. It's not about fair. Look, he's not. Did you, did you see what he did? Hold on. Hold on. I mean, look. I just received a list for the premarital test. Oh, finally. Let's see. Blood group. Fertility tests, HIV, HIV. STDs. <laughs> That's useless. Right? We already know we're not infected. We don't need to do all that. They just want to take your money. <laughs> okay. Genotype. We already know genotype. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know your genotype, right? Uh huh. Yeah. But you know what? Let's just get them done to fulfill our righteousness. You know. So you can finally pick a date. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I can't wait. I can't believe this is going to happen, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Me too. But I can't wait to be your missus. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is the result of the test. Thank you, Doctor. Everything is okay, right? Well, the premarital test screening um, is good. <laughs> but there's an issue. Uh, the test result shows that you're both of the genotype AS, which means you're not compatible for marriage. What? Now that. That can possibly stop her. Because she is. Doctor, there must be a mistake somewhere. Frank has always been AS. And I, AA. We are very thorough about our details. We do not make such costly mistakes. Doctor. He absolutely trusts your expertise on this one. We're just saying, probably there's a mistake at the lab. Yes, because all my siblings are AA. I can't possibly be AS. That's not a requisite to confirm she is AA. Please do not tell me that is how you arrived at this conclusion. No. I ran a genotype test during my year in the university, and the result was AA. I'm certain. Maybe that's where the mistake occurred. Um, see, most of these university medical screening are often done in a haste, in a rush, and um, 
That's because of the population of the students. Did you run another test after that? How do you mean? Why not? That's fine. Is it possible to do another test as soon as possible? Sure, why not? If you insist. Sure. Please. All right. Hello? Sweetie. Nurse Margaret, please come to my office. children who can be AA. Yes, you're right. But then again, this is a vital moment in our lives where we need to make a decision. We can have children who are AA, but we can also have children who are SS. We, we, we can just let this come between us. We can't. Look, I know of a couple who are AS patients got married and we're lucky enough not to have sickle cell children. It happens. Yes, I know, but the chances are slim. Didn't you hear the doctor? Forget about the doctors. They've said they're on. If they were to be in our shoes, they wouldn't leave their lovers.
You asked me to marry you and I said yes. I am not going back on my words, Frank. Sandra, what happened? What's wrong? Frank. There's no one to marry me anymore. <laughs> anyway, you started a beg. You know I need one at the back of my hand. I will not fall for this prank. You don't plan this one way. <laughs> You're serious? How? What happened? I mean, what happened? How? Why? <gasps> oh, gentle times. You put AS. I'm lost. Sandra, you are AA. Turns out that result was wrong. I went to different hospitals today to run a genotype test, and they all had the same. Same result! Oh my god. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. What kind of bad news is this? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm finished, Pamela. I am finished. What do I do? I'm so sorry. How am I supposed to live without Frankie? He, he's everything to me. Frank is literally the end that I bring. Take it easy. No, take it easy. This is so heartbreaking. I don't know why he doesn't want to take the risk with me, Pamela. I do not think should not be a reason for us not to get married. It shouldn't. <laughs> I know how you feel now, but Frank is just being logical. I'm sure he's also had no crown. <laughs> oh, love is supposed to conquer everything. Love is supposed to conquer logic. We love each other. I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, fine. it's okay. It's okay. Sir, this is the rep from Green Peg. Why didn't you knock? I did, sir. Um, sir, this is Miss Inyokon. She's the representative from Green Peg. You were expecting her, sir. So why didn't you call? I did, sir. I told you over the phone and you asked me to bring her in. Please give this to operations. Alright, sir. Thank you very much. Please, Mom, sit down. Thank you, sir. So you are the chief marketing officer. Yeah. 
Sir, so I I would suggest we reschedule this meeting for some other time if you're not in the best frame of mind. And wouldn't that be inconvenient? Oh no, not at all. I mean, it's better to have the meeting with a clear head. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna do a presentation with the people. My secretary will give me the briefing and um, I'll revert. Okay, sir. You can take 30 minutes, max. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you. for the company's driver. He said it will be here in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yes, sir. I'm headed towards a third avenue, so good for you. Oh, yeah. That's where my office is located. Give you a lift. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir, you missed the turn. That was the turn to get to Ted Avenue. Sorry about help. I'll use the next one. Okay, sir. <sighs> sir, I don't mean to step boundaries, but whenever I'm disturbed, I take a nap. It really helps. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. Huh? Sleep doesn't solve problems. Well, you wake up with a clear head and have a better approach to whatever it is. You won't understand. Do you want to talk about it, maybe? I'd rather not. Thank you. Okay, sir. So, how did the presentation go? It went well. Although I was looking forward to presenting to you, you might have questions that the other team members wouldn't ask. We're looking forward to partnering with you, sir. I'll just go through the minutes. Tell the team that they'll get my Okay, sir. Back 
on a rough day. No, I didn't know you were coming. I wanted to surprise you. I'm making your favorite. Ah, you went when I walked in. Why are you having a rough day? There's something happened at the office. No, nothing happened at the office. Just been thinking. What are you thinking about, babe? Babe, why are you stressing your pretty head? Don't act like you don't know what is going on. I mean, you're walking here, you're I cannot get married. There we go again. Look, babe. The doctors might have said this. It is left for you and I to do what we want. Don't mean just of what the doctor said. The doctor knows exactly what he's talking about. You want us to ignore everything and says like nothing is going to happen. This is not about us. This is about the future. About our children. All the consequences it comes with. Why do you want to ignore all of that? Like, how hard this could we be? How? I know this is hard for you. This is equally as hard for me, okay? My entire life is you. All the plans I've had for the future, you are in it. You are in every picture. Reasonable one here. Oh, come on, stop making it any harder, please. Please. <sighs> so, what now?
not supposed to end this way, Sandra. Sandra, this is not the end of the world. Please pick yourself up. Maybe it's beyond this control. You know, you know that's not true. Frank will move the world for you if he has the power. But wait, you don't want to have children. Sandra, this is the best thing to do. I think Frank made a decision that is good for both of you. Look, I know this is hard, but I believe you can handle it. You'll find someone else. Hello? Good evening, sir. I never forget a face. <laughs> Any from your office. Any from the office. Yeah. Sir, are you alone? Did you come with someone? What? Oh, okay. I mean, are you going home already? I'm going home. You're driving? Yes. Okay, so I don't think you're in the right frame to drive. I Me? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think we should just call someone hey, to... You have a beautiful day. My days are going too well. I'm sure your day will go wonderfully okay, well. Okay, okay. Sir, so please, let's just call someone to take you home. You can't go home like this. You can't what? drive. Let's call someone to take you home, sir. Let's call, let's call someone. Yeah, yeah. My brother. Perfect. Let's call your brother. We'll call, call you when you call my brother? Yeah. Uh, we can just sit down and you can call your brother. Come here. Call my brother for you. Uh, sorry, I think you should sit down, sir. Give me my brother. Give me my brother. Give me my Okay, easy. Easy. Come here. Come here. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, just sit. your job. You just get to sit in the aircraft and fly and then you get paid at the end of the month. It is not as easy as it looks. Oh, really? <laughs> not again. I just have to block him if he continues his nonsense. Yeah. Who are you blocking again? Isn't that pilot? He keeps calling me every single minute. He just called when I was in the car. And now he's calling again. I can just kid me. Wait, so it's still on your matter. Wow, that guy must really be crazy about you, babe. Well, the feeling is not mutual, and I made that clear to him. Sandra, look, just take things easy. Get to know the guy. Give him a chance. Why? I don't like him. Babe, look, you need anything that can help you get your mind off Frank. Go out, go on dates, have fun, make friends. And in no time you'll be over him. Pamela, I am yet to see that person that I will love as much as I loved Frank. As a matter of fact, I don't even need anyone.
Sandra. Mm -hmm. Look at what I just came across on Instagram. What's that? Take a look. He's getting married? How could he? Okay, I don't understand. In just seven months after he left me, he's already married someone else. Look, I have to be sincere. Seven months is not a short time. Sandra, you both moved on. I did it! Frank and I dated for three years. Three good years. Before he proposed to me. And in just seven months, he already met some other girl. And is about walking her down the aisle? Like seriously? Oh, it's possible. Maybe he's been cheating on me with her all along. She's being in the picture as a backup plan all this while. Okay, now you're overthinking this. You're overthinking this. I'm over here, miserable. I have not been able to move on. Oh, okay, oh, Sandra, now you're overreacting. I have not been able to fall in love with anyone else. But he's getting married. <laughs> Stop, don't do this now. Stop. I thought he loved me. I thought he loved me as much as I love him. How could he hurt me this way? Stop, stop. Don't do this now. Oh, I didn't know you react like this. Why did I go show you this thing? So where are you, honey? So hurry up and wait. I love it. Getting married. Who is she? I just didn't tell you because I didn't think it would be appropriate enough. You know what? You knew I was going to find out anyway. <sighs> Who is she? You don't know her, Sandra. Someone I met. Sorry, I can tell you. I still love you, Frank. I never 
never stopped. I couldn't forget about you. Or all we shared. I have not forgotten at all. You love me, right? wrong. Frank, it's me. I'm getting married, Sandra. I'm getting married and I've gotten in love. I'm in love right now with a woman I'm getting married to. Please, understand it. supposed to answer that? You know I did. Kiss me. Kiss me. Touch me like you used to. Stop. 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 Please. 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 Sandra, I suggest we stop contacting each other. Sandra, you can't just walk into my house. We need to stop. She's on her way home and if she sees that my ex is It's dead. fine. Have a good life. Day here is 30 minutes now. No one see the person we want to see again. What's gonna happen? I don't shower with this. Yeah. Please just don't see because I'll double your money. Uh never thought of this now. How soon do memories fade? She's not even as pretty as me. I bet that hair on her head was already spongy. Couldn't she even afford a better hair? You know what's the person again? Let's go. She must have felt. You know, I really hope she finds. Like, honestly, I hope she finds a perfect partner. Yeah, I hope so too. You know, Nigeria has the highest number of sickle cell disorder in the world. The world? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. Or in Africa? In the world. So you guys were just never meant to be. But I'm happy you asked her to stay away. I don't know how I would have felt if I'd met her here. I, I don't know how I would have felt if I didn't meet you. <laughs> well, my dad was asking for a date convenient for us to meet our kinsmen. What? Kinsmen? Still? How many of them? 
<laughs> the whole process is so tiring. Oh my goodness. But I mean, this is the... These are the hurdles you have crossed to get to the final days. I know. <laughs> is really marrying another woman after all we went through together hmm. so he's telling her those sweet things he says to me too god you look absolutely stunning I'm still thinking of exactly what I did to deserve someone like you. Why did you punish me this way? Why did you take away the man that I love from me? I bet he's even making love to her right now. So. Couldn't sleep. Oh, sorry. You left your phone behind. You have some missed calls from the pilots. Not again. Why is your face swollen? Wait, don't tell me you've been crying. Why is he thinking about Frank? He should have at least proposed to her with another ring. Not the same one he once gave me. Yes, 
something serious. I like your ring, I like your watch, I like your jewelry, I like your necklace, and I love your food. So just take off everything and put them in your bag and hand it over to me. Please unlock the phone, okay? I don't like stress. Yeah, make it quick, please. I don't want your neighbors to know anything. Just wait. Thank you. Please make it quick. So we can leave. I got your phone. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Close your eyes. Close it. Close it. Come on. Don't open it until I say so, okay? I don't even know. All right. 
gonna try and do it right now here. But baby, oh, this is my fault. I should continue a car by now. But I just wanted us to be done with all these preparations before I got the car. Baby, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. <sighs> so, you now watch this, right? You cannot track that phone from here. So, they're just going to sell my ring. Oh, baby, forget about the <laughs> ring. We'll get another ring, okay? <laughs> Your life is way more important than the ring. Okay. Yeah. I hope it's on. just been enjoying my new phone all day. I've been on this phone. <laughs> I've been able to log in my social media accounts. I just wish I could come on my pictures too. So sorry we couldn't track it. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to say sorry. I mean, now I know I must set my security features on this phone. <laughs> that is very nice. This is all you get about. You got the exact same one you got me the last time. That is time. what you wanted. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, you're not the, the best man in the world. Come here. Come here. Come okay. On. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Are you sure? Where are we going? Babe. for the three years we dated. I got a new one I wanted to do away with that one, so I asked for it. Hey, wait. Do away with this new phone, this clean phone. I mean, this your colleague has more new. Please now, dash me. I know you already have a good phone. Dash you what? I asked for it because I needed it. For what? For my business. Quit asking me too many questions. I'm in no mood for that. Okay, anyway, um, Pius wanted us to hang out with one of his friends. He's single and I was thinking you tag along so we can have like... Just leave me alone. Stop trying to match make me. I don't know why I easily pissed off this is. I don't know what is wrong with you. What is it? Look, you're becoming someone else and I don't like it. I want my sweet and cheerful friend back. Not this stranger. Alright, Sandra, let's cut to the chase. Huh. 
I like you. I couldn't get my eyes over you on the flight. I didn't want to plane to land. As I close my eyes right now, all I can hear is your voice say those safety procedures right here. <laughs> you should see an ear doctor then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. Oh, you're funny. I like that. <laughs> I'd really like to get to know you. If you let me. You seem like a great guy. Well, I'm not here to toot my own horn, you said it. But you can um, find out for yourself. If you want. Tell me about you. Have you been? Not bad. How about you? Great. You're not sitting? Oh. You were still. You're not expecting me. I know. Especially after the last time we met. You warned me not to keep in touch. Well, it wasn't particularly a warning. But I mean, I'm sure something very important about you here, so. I came to talk. Frank. 
hasn't been easy not talking to you or seeing you. How's your fiance? She's very well, thank you. How about yours? I can't remember telling you I have anyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just thought about it now. I mean, you know. It's quite a pity. I haven't been able to replace you. I didn't get a chance to say congratulations the last time. So here, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So how did you two meet? She must have blown you away. Seeing that you're already getting married to her in less than one year after we separated. Do you even know her that well? Someone was actually in the middle of something. Uh. Are you asking me out of your office? Because of her. Not you. It's not you. I, I swear, I, I don't know why the blogs are bringing this up again. It happened like three years ago. Three years ago, and of all things, you didn't tell me this. 
We're getting married in a week. It was really traumatizing. I, I didn't want to remember. How on earth did your naked pictures get on the internet? He was my ex. I trusted him. I, I trusted him and he released it when we broke up. It was your ex? We got married! Oh my I'm so sorry. Sorry is too late. Trending. What's trending? You've not been online. Frank's fiance's news is all over the internet. In fact, it's been for a while. It just resurfaced again. That's sad. That's really sad. You know, she's the same girl whose boyfriend released that news some time ago. The internet never forgets Shaq. They chose to bring it back just when our wedding is around the corner. Just imagine the kind of girl Frank chose over me. A girl who sends her nudes to men. How about Sandra? You know the time to judge her now. And I already feel sorry for the girl. I can't even imagine myself in her shoes. I don't know how I would feel. Me too. I don't know again. Right? I know Frank more than anyone. He values his reputation. There is no way he's going to marry that kind of a girl. Wow. So this is how wedding is just cancelled. This guy, I bet you are very wicked. Huh? But we women have to be wise. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even trust Pios to that extent. No, no. But well, come to think of it, Frank is not, he does not have good luck. First, it was you. Just when you're about to pick a date, you find out you are both heirs and can't marry each other. Now, a week to his wedding to another person, and <laughs> I knew this all over the internet. I had a solution. But well, how do you marry a woman? The world has seen her nakedness. Okay. I really don't know what I did to him. I don't understand why he's trying to ruin my life. I'm sure he's the one that paid those bloggers to post those pictures. I'm sure he's... <laughs> Frank is back. I'll talk to you later. Frank, I have ordered for the wedding to be put on hold. I'm so sorry for everything. I should have told you. I understand how you feel. You don't understand how I feel. You can never understand how I feel. I have everybody I know calling my phone. People I don't know calling my phone. Go check Facebook. Go look at the humiliating comments on Facebook. All because of this. I need some time alone. I think it's the best thing that you left for now. Please leave the car keys on this table. You know, go with the car. 
in and I wanted to surprise you. Look, I brought you food. You have a spare? And I don't know about it. So you're in? I rang the doorbell many times. I was in the bathroom. I called your phone. It was on charge, I just picked it up. Frank. Why are you avoiding me? Why? Sandra. I figured by this time you would have gotten this. It's not me, Sandra. It's I explained to you and I believed that you understood. Don't just walk in the house. Things are different. What I cooked for you. Frank. I know you need me more than anything right now. I brought you food. Thank you, but... No, thank you. 
Why are you being so mean to me? I thought you loved me. Loved? Sancho. Loved. I told you. Things are different. Things are not the way they used to be. I'm going to have to ask you. Sandra, I'm going to have to ask you to excuse me. been weeks and I really miss you I miss you too I believe I know that you did whatever you did out of love and trust I believe you loved him and you trusted him. That's why you did what you did, but he just wasn't deserving enough. I learned the hard way, I guess. I have decided to forget about the past. I paid most of the bloggers to take it down. Just in case it resurfaces in the future, we're gonna handle it as a family. Oh my god. Okay. I'm so I'm so blessed to have you, Frank. I love you so much. I love you too. That doesn't justify the fact that you should have kept it away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Is there anything else you want me to know? Yes. God. What is it? I'm pregnant. I, I don't want to tell you because I don't want it to be the reason you marry me. You're pregnant? That is what you wanted to tell me? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. 
set a date for the wedding as soon as possible before it comes out. so <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, the lady that just walked out of here. Oh yes, you mean the tall slender lady? Exactly. Oh, great, uh, great. Does she work here? Oh no, she's one of our clients. Okay. Yes, you know, actually she trusts us so much that she wants us to bake her wedding cake coming up soon. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Oh yeah. Is there any particular service you want us to do for you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, please. But I'll try some other okay, time. Okay, that was great yes. then. Thank you very much for visiting. Please enjoy your presence here. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay, so, uh, you were saying this is, uh, never mind, never mind. I'm not letting you go, I just want you to know. So he still wants to marry her. Even after the whole world has seen her nakedness. Oh God. But he gave up on me when we had an issue. He took back his ring without a second thought. He never loved me. Frank never loved me. He played me. He can't marry her. He can't. What do I do? What do I do? Spices. Like him? Spices. Look spicy. Try it and see. Don't worry, eat, baby, eat, don't worry. I got it. Okay. Coming. Hi. Uh, she's coming. Right? Don't you dare refer to me as such, bitch! Excuse Don't you me. try it! Oh. Sandra! Don't even try to stop, Sandra! What are you doing? What is wrong with you, Sandra? You dare defend her to my face? Stop! Will you stop? Get to the Sandra. Sandra.
How can I forget all you ever said? Where is the promise you made? How do I conceive that you never cared? Never thought all my life I could be so scared. How soon do memories fade? I was so worried. The doctor said I was out for two days. Yes, you were. Wait, Sandra, what happened? Frank said you came to their home to attack them. Why? Why would you do that? That is not you. And they abandoned me here, right? No, no, he did not. He's been calling to check on you since you got admitted. He's even the one footing the bills. As a matter of fact, he came to check on you yesterday. Pretense. Who does he care? I found this in your wardrobe. That is Frank's ring, right? How did you get it? Because I know he took it back from you. It's none of your business. Sandra. Sandra. You know what? Let's just go home. No, no, no. You've not been discharged. And the doctor says you'll be here for a couple of days. No. But I am fine. The doctor thinks otherwise. So please, allow them to do their job. Please. Okay. Can I have my phone? Oh, yeah. Your phone or your debit card? Um, yeah. Thank you. So please, lie down and rest.
Get a hold of yourself, Sandra. Get a hold of yourself. This is not who you are. It's who you've turned me into. Sandra, whatever happened was beyond my control and was beyond your control. Shut up. You never loved me. Our genotype was a perfect excuse to let me off. What are you talking about? She you that I loved. You knew I was going to get married to. Okay. Get it out of your head. She has always been in the picture. Right? That bitch that you replaced me with in just seven months That's not after true. I was separated. It's not true, Sandra. I only got with her when you and I separated. You're dying! Ah! What is wrong with you, Sandra? Move it. Okay. Okay. Let's say you're telling the truth. It's almost that easy to forget. Huh? After. Did you get that? Sandra. It was you? Yes. It was me. Look. It's my perfect fit. Not hers.
Frank. Frank. Hey, stop crying. It's going to be fine. <laughs> You'll survive. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> it's going to be fine, okay? Have you called any or any member of his family? He needs to go away. Good. It'll be fine, okay? Stop, please. It doesn't need this right now. Don't. I need you to get out this minute. And if anything happens to him, I swear you will rot in jail. Get out! He's okay. Well, I told you, he's out of coma. He's still on admission, but it's a good sign. So stop worrying, relax. He'll be fine. Mm. He will never forgive me. Well, you went very far. But I'm glad you finally realized yourself. Hmm? Seeing him battle for his life was the worst feeling I've ever had. And I was mad at him, but I hated seeing him suffer. I didn't know what came over me. I thought he was going to call the police. Yeah. Look, it's okay. He's fine. And let's just be glad that Sandra has not showed up with the police yet. I'm a bad person. 
No, you're not. Don't say that. Look, we've lived together since a hundred level days in the university, and you've not done anything like this. Your emotions got the best of you, that's all. Look, look, Sandra, you need to see a therapist. It will help you heal from all of this. I already contacted one last night. I'll start my session soon. That's the spirit. I'm so glad to hear that. I just pick his call. The guy means well. He's always been there. Not now. Maybe later, but not now. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Frank, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know I went wild. I allowed my emotions all over the place. I was thinking. But now, I have come to realize that knowing when to let go is a true meaning of love. I could have killed you. And I'm sure. I would have died too. Because I would have never forgiven myself. I promise. I will never bother you both anymore. I am so sorry for everything I put you both through. You even when you did nothing to me. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. Let's just thank God he's alive. Sandra, you are intelligent, smart, and daring young lady. Beautiful too. I'm definitely sure you're gonna meet someone who's gonna love you even more and right. I can assure you that. Thank you. I'll take my leave now. Bye. We'll see you off. It's okay. Wow. <sighs> okay. I think it's time for you to eat. Indeed, 
fortitude. Shall we? Thank you, Shay. Can I ask you a question? Should do. What's your genotype? Oh, come on, for me. Sure? Of course I am. Why would I lie? How do you want better? We'll go to the hospital, we'll do a test together, and we'll confirm that. Are you okay with that? Yeah, you're happier now. Let's go. How soon do memories fade? 